Hello students, welcome to Machining Sciences and Tool Design. So in this video, uh, we'll be doing a numerical on the design of a single point cutting tool. So we'll design one of the single point cutting tool. So design a uh, HSS uh, cutting tool to machine mild steel workpiece in a lathe. So we are doing a machining of mild steel using a HSS. So now we need to design the cutting tool. So that is single point cutting tool. So BHN of a material for HSS is given as uh, 200 kg per mm square. And the back rake angle, side rake angle and side cutting engine angle for HSS tool is given as 10 degree, 12 degree and 45 degree respectively. And then dynamic shear stress uh, of mild steel can be calculated using tau s will be equal to 0.186 bhn kg per mm square so that is 0.186 times of bhn number and then ultimate tensile strength of hss is 1000 newton per mm square and the factor of safety for uh, rough machining is 10 and shank of the tool section is uh, square that is it is a square cross section and then tool hoarang is around 30 mm so the chip reduction coefficient is 2.5 for uh, rough machining so here uh, there is a calculation shown for the same the conversion of tool angles from asa system to ors so which we have already discussed that is if you want to convert uh, it from one tool angles from one system to other system you can do this using a particular relations so tan gamma naught uh, which is required for the calculation of forces uh, which is obtained by tan gamma y cos phi plus gam tan gamma x sin phi so where gamma y is 10 so which is given in the data cos phi is 45 gamma x is 12 so that is uh, if you go back you can see here the back rake angle and the side rake angle is given so that is what we are substituting here that is uh, back rake angle is 10 and the side rake angle is 12 and then uh, phi is given as a 45 which you are substituting and you are able to find out gamma naught and then dynamic shear stress of the mild steel is tau s which is 0.186 times of bhn uh, so we know bhn number that is uh, 200 so if you substitute you will be able to get 372 newton per mm square so selecting depth of cut 2 mm and feed 0.3 mm per revolution we have pz that will be equal to t into s naught tau s uh, chip reduction coefficient minus gamma naught plus 1 so t is uh, 2 which is given and then uh, 0.3 is given and tau s is 372 which we have calculated uh, chip production ratio is given as 2.5 minus tan 15.6 gamma naught that is we have already found that substituted here plus 1 it will give you around 720 newtons and then px that is force in x direction is given by t s naught gamma s tau minus gam tan gamma naught minus uh, minus 1 so instead of plus 1 it is minus 1 into sin phi so if you substitute uh, t as 2 s naught as 0.372 chip reduction is uh, 2.5 gamma naught is 15.26 and phi is 45 will get 194 newton so this is the forces in z and x direction so this is required for the calculation of uh, deflection so we know gamma will be equal to that is working stress will be ultimate stress by FOS ultimate stress is given as 1000 and FOS is given as 10 so that will be equal to uh, sigma 1 plus sigma 2 uh, sigma 1 is given by 6 pz le bh square and uh, sigma 2 that is stress in these are two principal stresses stress in x z and uh, x direction that is given by 6 px le by h b cube so if it is as it is a square cross section b will be equal to h le is given as 30 mm which you can check uh, so if you substitute it here so uh, this is 1000 that is the 1000 by 10 is uh, 100 so you can substitute that sigma here 100 which will be equal to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 so that will be equal to 6 pz pz we have found it is 720 le is 30 which is given uh, as so b is equal to h so you can substitute as b cube and uh, p x is uh, 194 which you can substitute and le is given as 30 and b is equal to s so it is b cube so by this you can find out what is the b value which is 11.805 mm 
So the nearest cross section value for this is around 12 mm. So it is approximately 12. So we can take it as 12. So as it is a square cross section, it is 12 into 12. So now we have arrived at the cross section. Now we need to find out what is the deflection which is produced by uh, by this load. So as we have already discussed, delta will be equal to 4 pz le cube by e b h cube. So 4 times of pz is 720. Le is uh, 3 naught that is 30 cube. So it, this one is wrongly written. So this is 30 cube. And then E is uh, given as uh, 22, 224.000 into uh, 124. Uh, so that you can get it that is uh, 12 into 12. Uh, and then if you substitute this and can do the calculation, you will get uh, 0 0.016 mm, which is within the permissible limit. So, which is uh, if you can recall what should be the permissible limit, it should be within uh, 0 0.04 uh, mm for uh, roughing operation and 0.1 mm for finishing operation. So, as you can see, this is less than this value which you have got is less than this value, so which is within the permissible limit. So, the power consumed is usually given by force into velocity. So, if you substitute Pz into velocity, cutting velocity, so you will get 720 that will be equal to 50 by 60. Uh, so, that will be equal to 0.6 kilowatts. So, this is the power consumption and this is the deflection and this is the dimension of the cutting tool. So, this is about how to design a single point cutting tool. Thank you.